Welcome, girls. This is uh, the studios of Wazubia Max and Wazubia TV. Obviously, everything is on the World Entertainment TV Limited, and uh, that's us. As I go by the name of Mini March. I'm the head of content programming, and I'm a producer as well. And on my side, you have... Uh, my name is Adewo, and uh, producer, presenter, Wazubia TV, Wazubia Max. My name is Caesar, um, head of events TV, Wazubia TV, Wazubia Max, also producer and presenter. So welcome, girls, again. Uh, it's an honor for us to have you here today and have this little, little master class and little tests because I believe all of you, yes, you're models, but you can see that in the industry you've got models that go into the television sector. And uh, sometimes it's good to have uh, an idea as to how it is, how the castings are, because we have all been presenters before, so how, how did we get there? Some of us didn't have to go through castings be because we were freelance, but you probably have to go through castings here in Nigeria. So so today we're going to have like a little test for you to show you how it is. And what is going to happen is that you're not going to have the test of the, red, the typical red carpet interviews because you know doing red carpet interviews and being in a studio are two different things. So today you're going to have the test of the studio like you are, you have your own show in the studio live and you know most of the times we read from the teleprompter. The teleprompter is a machine where you've got the words scrolling down. It helps, obviously, the presenter to know what they're going to talk about. Of course, you prepare yourself before, so you know what is going to roll down, but this helps you, at least, to always stick to the words that you're supposed to say. So, welcome again, and I hope it's not going to be too difficult for you, because I'm sure some of you are naturalistas, so you're genuinely talented, and uh, yes. So we're going to try. But what is going to happen is, uh, firstly, we'll give you a little time, like of 30 seconds, to read through. Because the teleprompter is going to scroll down all the words. It's quite, those are just like five sentences. You will just read through for yourself quietly. So it gets done. It settles down into your brain. And then you have your mic there. And then you start reading like you will be presenting if you were sitting in the studio in your own show. Understandable. Yeah, to give a little tip here. Yeah? When you're presenting, think of the people watching you. What will make them not switch the channel from your station to another station? So um, you have to be believable. You have to be interesting to look at. You get your facial expressions are very important too because believe me, a presenter is usually a little bit of an actor yeah. as well. So it's very important. You can't just be there and start reading something that's very like, entertaining and you're like, very serious. Okay, these are the news of... Do you understand? <laughs> Entertainment is like, ah, tonight we're here, and this is why it's happening. You see the difference, like, so it's all about you, how you feel. So you really have to feel the text that you're reading. That's the reason why we are giving you that, those 30 seconds to read so you will know what is all going about, what the information is, so then you can have the proper attitude. The one? Yeah, and uh, just one thing. The, uh, one thing about presenting is that you are, your audience is one person. You are trying to pass a message to just one person. You take it that every other person out there is just one person. So if you can convince that one person well enough, then you've passed the information. So it's all about passing information and getting um, good feed feedback. If you are not passing information, then your presentation is a waste of time. You understand? So, and in passing information, you have to be totally audible. We have to hear what you're saying. Try not to um, eat your words. Don't mumble words up. Don't try and put up an accent that is not going to pass the information. You understand? It's Nigeria. We're in Nigeria. We're not telling you that you have to be, uh, you have to speak with an accent, but speak clear. Have good pronunciation so that the words are not, um, you don't misplace your words. So it's all about you having that confidence, first of all. And remember, you're talking to one person. Convince that one person, whatever you're saying, all right? So. And last but not least, um, what is going to happen? We didn't speak with Katarina about that, but um, you know, it's good to have a competition sense and to know that you have something to win. And uh, the person who does best here today, because those two are part of our events team and they attend all the biggest events happening in Nigeria, and uh, the person who wins today, who does best, will have the chance to be with them on one of those events and present on the red carpet. <laughs> I didn't know. That's our surprise.